सो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द ह्यूमन गोल सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी वुड टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन गोल्स एट वेरियस लेवल एट द लेवल ऑफ इंडिविजुअल एट द लेवल ऑफ फैमिली एट द लेवल ऑफ सोसाइटी एट द लेवल ऑफ नेचर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द ह्यूमन गोल्स बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ह्यूमन गोल इज हाउ टू रिकग्नाइज दैट समथिंग इज आर रियल गोल हाउ डू वी नो दैट समथिंग इज अवर रियल गोल सो वन वे इज फाइंड आउट इज इफ एबसेंस ऑफ समथिंग लीड्स टू आर अनहेपीनेस वी कैन डिड्यूस दैट इट इज आर रियल गोल अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल absence of health makes your body unhealthy and when your body is unhealthy you feel unhappiness you feel unhappy it means health is your real goal so one way to find out real goal is if absence of something leads to our unhappiness it means it is our real goal another way to find out real goal is if presence of something makes our life fulfilling in continuity it means that is our real goal so with this we are going to find out our real goals at the level of individual at the level of family at the level of society and at the level of nature so before talking about goal let's talk about human aspirations because ultimately why we are going to talk about human goals we are going to talk about human goals because we want a fulfilling life in continuity so we have to talk about aspiration first what is my aspiration then we will talk about the human goals and we will find out whether these goals presence of these goals would ensure my aspiration in continuity so let's talk about human aspiration first so ask yourself option number a do you want to live with physical facility only do you only want to survive in this planet on this planet ask yourself or you want to live with mutual fulfillment option number b mutual fulfillment means fulfillment in relationships and having required physical facility so which one is naturally acceptable to you option number a or option number b so ask yourself take a pause for 2 minutes investigate in yourself observe yourself explore in yourself option number a is right for you naturally acceptable to you or option number b naturally acceptable to you there is another option let's investigate it so you want to live with only physical facility you want to live with fulfillment or option c you want to live with continuous fulfillment now again ask yourself what is naturally acceptable to you option a option b option c so you want to live with physical facility only you want to live with mutual fulfillment or you want to live with continuous fulfillment ask this three options to you and find out what naturally is acceptable to you so continuous fulfillment it is called by different names such as bliss peace satisfaction happiness etc etc but what does it mean it means right understanding in the self realization of truth fulfillment in relationships with the feeling of love and compassion and ensuring more than required physical facility it means having feeling of prosperity all the time so if i ensures all these three it means i can live with continuous fulfillment so take a pause and ask yourself which one is naturally acceptable to you out of a b c so if i ask this question myself naturally i get answer three option three i want to live with continuous fulfillment i want right understanding in myself in continuity 
I also want feeling of love and compassion for everyone, and I also want to live with the feeling of prosperity. So you may ask for yourself which one is naturally acceptable to you. With this background, with this background, now we can talk about human goals. So you, during which we too, you must have studied about human goal. So at that time, you studied human goal at the level of individual. That is right understanding and right feeling. Human goal at the level of family. That is feeling of prosperity in every family. Fearlessness in society. That is feeling of trust with everyone in society. And coexistence in nature. So this you have studied in UHV two, and you would have revised in detail in UHV three two. So here we are going to talk about in details what would be goals at the level of individual, at the level of family, at the level of society, and at the level of nature. <clears throat> so let's talk about human goal at the level of individual. So before describing the goals at the level of individual, I am going to a brief revision about human being. So I suppose and I understand. You would have gone through this topic in UHV two and in UHV three in detail, but before talking about human goals, it would be better if we revise the concept of human being. So I'm not, I'm not, I am not going to describe in detail. I am going to a brief review about the topic because I understand you would have studied it in UHV two and UHV three. So if we talk about human being. we have studied that human being is a coexistence of self and body need of self and need of body are different activities of self and activities of body are different responses of the self and the body is also different in short we can say self is consciousness and body is material so as a human being i am coexistence of self and body and if we see in the self if we observe in the self there are many activities going on in the self that we learned as imagination so activity of imaging activity of analyzing activity of selecting and testing <coughs> are going on in the imagination and you hv3 you would have studies more activities at the level of at the block 1 so in uhv3 you have studied block 1 and block 2 in block 1 there are activities like realization understanding contemplation authentication determination and in block 2 there are activities like imaging analyzing selecting testing comparing so all this you have studied in uhv3 so if we have briefly revised it then we can talk about human goal at the level of individual <coughs> so human being is a coexistence of self and body it means we have to find out our goals at the level of self at the level of body and at the level of human being as a coexistence of self and body so the needs of the self and body must be fulfilled at the level of the individual it means right feeling right thought right understanding of the self are fundamental requirement are the fundamental requirement at the level of self if we look at the level of body like this then at the level of body health is our fundamental requirement health is one of our needs being healthy in the body ensuring health in the body is recognized as a personal need So at the level of self, there is a need to ensure right understanding, right feeling. At the level of body, there is need to ensure health. Other than that, ensuring more than required physical facility is also the need of the self. So feeling of prosperity with the right evaluation of needs is also one of the goal of the self. And when living as a human being, as a human. 
we do try to utilize our body we do try to utilize our body so right utilization of physical facility in the self is also required so it is our goal to utilize the physical facility in the form of various physical facility in the form of various resources as a matter of consciousness need it appears that we need to have the ability to properly utilize these facilities and along with the proper utilization of physical facility we can also make judicious use of our body it is also required so if we look at it a little more closely along with this right utilization of body the activities of self is also required so it is also our goal that we must right utilize our body mind and physical facility so as a human being being is it is our goal so right utilization of mind means whatever activities is going on in me it should be governed it should be under the light of our natural acceptance if our activities of imagination it means desire thought expectations are going on in the guidance of our natural acceptance it means i am able to right utilize my mind mind means the activity all three activities you know then as a human being we participate with others we participate in various kind of work it means a mutual interaction through right conduct and right behavior is also required so being expressed in complementarity with another human being has been identified as behavior similarly the activities that we do with the rest of nature in the sense of building physical facilities for our needs are called production so behavior is basically human to human interaction and work is basically human to rest of nature interaction therefore if we look at the fourth goal the ability to develop definite conduct and production of required physical facility is a also a matter to understand it means our fourth goal is to develop ability to live in a community with right behavior and work collaboratively subsequently a human has a big role in life long participation in family and society or in other words the family and society expect genuine participation from a human because of the responsibilities which are to be fulfilled at the level of family the possibility which have to be maintained at the level of society it means it is ultimately a human being who carries out these responsibility so at the level of individual one can at least see his or her participation in the family order therefore the fifth goal is to recognize responsibility participation at the level of family and competence to fulfill that with the feeling of responsibility so these five goals are identified at the level of individual for a fulfilling life are these needs are these goals are real try to investigate it ask yourself if i fulfill these five goals in continuity will it help me to live with continuous fulfillment or not or in other words if we fail to ensure any one of these goal can my continuity of fulfilling life be ensured this you have to ask yourself so with this manner in this context these five goals are identified at the level of individual and ask yourself does our happiness and happiness or complaints is because of the lack of these goals or not so if the absence of competence makes us unhappy it is our need it is our goal so if we we are not able to fulfill any one of these goals it means we would be in a state of unhappiness it means 
these goals are real goals so you take a pause investigate in yourself explore in yourself these goals at the level of individual is enough or not if you want to add some more goals if you want to delete any goal then comment uh, in this chat box i will study it and i would respond to you now let's move towards goal at the level of family so in the same way if we look at the family level it is observed that to recognize relationships in the family we tend to ensure the nine feelings within ourselves so nine feelings we have studied in uhv2 from trust to love being assured of the right feelings is a fundamental requirement to recognize the relationship with parents in and in various relationship like son daughter relationship sibling relationships in another way we can say it is necessary to ensure right behavior in all these relations through right thoughts right feelings and mindset with the competence of service service means seva as and when required so all these are identified as a goal at the level of family similarly as a necessity in the family we can identify our needs as per our requirement and ensure eco friendly and ethical protection so that we can ensure harmony with nature too so ensuring ethical protection along with the prosperity feeling of prosperity in every member of the family so at the family level we can identify the needs of our physical facilities accurately subsequently through everyone's participation according to one's ability production become smooth and everyone gets adequate physical facilities parents children elderly members meet their required needs in the form of physical facilities and service by living as an organized family so this is very important goal to identify our need with the feeling of prosperity and interact with nature to produce something while ensuring harmony with nature ensuring harmony with every unit of this nature there is also a need to ensure care and guidance for next generation because another member or coming member in my family a child is also a coexistence of self and body so this is a responsibility of family members to ensure care and guidance to the next generation at the family level a child is born in the family and he spend most of the time or most of his childhood there he relies on his parents and other family members for his care and guidance the right upbringing of a child is essential for his physical and mental development in the form of care and guidance that's why ability to look after the next generation is identified as one of the goals at the level of family so the fourth need seems to be that all the families can jointly accept responsibility for the roles that is to be maintained at the level of society for example the system of education so the system of education can be ensured at the village level system of justice can be ensured at the village level it is a collective responsibility of everyone and is only possible when the joint participation of the village families is there in the same context in the same con context the fifth important thing is to understand and maintain the tradition in the family suppose there is an achievement at the level of family or society we can pass on the family tradition from generation to generation for an example if our family has earned merit in ayurveda so it is responsibility of family that we can we preserve this knowledge for next generation and also transfer transform or to also transfer transfer this knowledge from generation to generation so this is also an responsibility of family it is also identified as one of the goals in the family so in sum up these are 
goals which are identified at the level of family required for ensuring a fulfilling life again take a pause for 2 minutes investigate in yourself whether these goals are required for a fulfilling life or not whether fulfillment of these goals leads me in a fulfilling life or not so ask yourself if you have any comment put in chat box i will reply you with this we can move goals towards society at the level of society so when we look at the society along with the people in relationship we also come in contact with several human beings which we do not necessarily know so there is also a certain need for right behavior from each other so you meet with many people in the society so at least right behavior feeling of trust is expected by everyone in the society so there is a need to ensure right behavior from each other so contact means contact refers to the interaction of many human beings in complementarity while living in society we should be able to maintain the right behavior in relationships as well as in day to day contact at least we can sustain mutual trust with each other so that the environment of fearless fearlessness can be ensured so for ensuring this environment of fearlessness at least expected behavior where feeling of trust is ensured with everyone is required so it is identified as goal at the level of society the second important requirement at the level of society appears that the activity which needs to be done for smooth running of the system should be implemented effectively though we will talk about these various activities of the system later in the course to ensure this the development of humanistic constitution policy methods and system is realized so for this we need to develop a conducive social environment so the family can feel assured and be able to participate joyously the third requirement appears at the level of society wherein a favorable environment to be ensured where every family can live with mutual fulfillment and can carry out whatever activities are required conducted collectively and continue with the inherited traditions in an organized manner so it is also identified as one of the important goal at the level of society with this we can talk about goals at the level of nature so as we identified goal at the level of individual family society in the same way we can identify goals at the level of nature at the level of nature there seems to be a need to carry out the process of mutual enrichment with the all units of the nature when we go to live with the feeling of mutual enrichment it is noticed that there are some activities which an individual we do at his level there would be some activities which would be ensured at the family level there would be some activities which will be ensured at the village level and some at state level some at national level some at international level all these needs to be identified and maintained effectively so there is a need of proper coordination there is a need to visualize a proper framework that can ensure that can ensure coordination from individual to international levels for an example if the air has to be conserved on earth this effort needs to be done at international level itself even at the national level effort this cannot be ensured for example cleaning of river and suppose i wish ganga river may get clean but this effort can cannot be done at the national level this effort can be done at national national level if the quality of the soil of our farm is to be maintained this effort cannot be done at the level of family or village so we can identify such skills which work can be done at the national level which work can be done at international level which activities can be done at individual level we have to identify such skills such activities that's why a proper coordination is required from individual to international levels at the same time it needs to be kept in mind that we can ensure the needful production 
through cyclic activities which we do with rest of nature so there is need to ensure cyclic and mutually enriching process that can ensure harmony of the nature because for my fulfilling of life sustenance of nature is also required so these are the goals which are identified at the level of nature so we can find find out whatever the problems are visible today at the level of individual family society are nothing but the absence of fulfillment of one of those goals which i have told you just now if we ensure the fulfillment of these goals then it seems feasible that we will also get rid of the problems we are facing today so take a pause and ask yourself what are you doing at all these levels are you fulfilling any one of the goals are these goals comes in your future plan ask this question to yourself if you will fulfill and collectively we all would fulfill these goals then there would be a society there will be a conducive social structure which would help us to live a fulfilling life so in next session we are going to discuss about behavior in the society as i talked about that behavior is very important factor in a society then we will talk about proper implementation of the social order so in future lectures we will discuss about this in more, more detail so thank you very much it's all about lecture number 2 of module 1 that is human goal so in this lecture we have studied human goal human goal required for a fulfilling life and we have also studied its goals at the level of individual at the level of family at the level of society and at the level of nature if we fulfill these goals then definitely we would be living a fulfilling life we would be living and also our generation next generation would be living such kind of life thank you very much in next lecture we will meet and talk about behavior in detail